we didn't come from monkeys. We came from God. We came from God. True confidence comes from God. True confidence comes from righteousness. I, I got to tell you something. Another thing that affects us women and men that affects our confidence and our self-esteem is sin. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I trust you are all doing amazing. I am also doing well, thank God. Um, yes, definitely this past week was very tiring. Uh, but I thank God uh, because it's not just being tired doing nothing. Um, it's the good tired. Tired for a reason that is actually good. Uh, anyway. Uh, if it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. My name is Magali Ingabire, but most people know me as Magali Pearl. So feel free to name, to call me whatever you want, like whatever that's easy for you. Um, so yeah, uh, my channel is all about holistic well-being, uh, personal growth, um, if personal development, uh, but that is all based on biblical uh, principles. Ladies, this video is for you. I need you all to pay attention. I need you to listen carefully. I mean, take your time, grab something to drink, send this link to every sister, every woman that you know, because what I'm about to share is important. It's going to bless you. It's going to change your life because I was given these principles by God. This has been, this, I have been applying this in my life. And let me tell you, the woman I was before I, I gave my life to Christ and the woman I am today is completely two different people. God has transformed. Literally, I can see God working and transforming me and turning, me, changing me into a woman that he intended me to be. So ladies, I want to tell you something. The number one secret to become a confident woman, a classy woman, is that you have to prioritize your relationship with God. Because it's easy to get caught up in finding your identity in material things, in other people's opinion, or what you have, what you carry. No, 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 no. True confidence comes from God. And my confidence was restored by God. Giving my life to Christ literally restored me. It is con like up to today, God is still working on me. I'm not finished. And that's the beautiful thing about coming to Christ is that he walks on you. He, it's not like we're, not, we're never finished. It's all, it gets better. It gets better. For me, I gave my life to Christ in 2019. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that changed me. That changed my life. And after today, it's still changing me. That is really what gave me the boldness and the confidence that I have today. That is the number one secret. I'm telling you, once that is done, everything else will follow. The word of God says that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. So true confidence comes from God. Now, another tip I want to share with you, ladies. Okay, listen carefully. Come, 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 come. Make time your best friend. Another thing that robs you of your confidence is when you're wasting time. When you waste time, when you don't use your time wisely. It really takes away your confidence. It affects your self-esteem. Because we, listen, the most valuable thing that every human being has is time. It's not the money you have. It's not the car you have. It's not the house you live in. No, it's the time. Time is such, that is the most precious gift that God gave us all human beings. And if you see from a person who is like, the richest person in the world or the poorest person in the world, we all have the same 24 hours. So what you do with your hours, with your time, also has a, will either affect your confidence, will either make you a confident person or you make you an insecure person. Think about this. Do you realize how bad you feel when you intended to do something and then you find yourself that you realize that you were distracted doing something else that is not even beneficial to the, the person that you know God wants you to be. You notice how you, bad you feel after that? I don't know about you, but for me, I, I don't like that feeling. I know when I waste my time without being up in a place that I'm not supposed to be, doing something I'm not supposed to do, 
um, uh, talking to some talking to somebody that I'm not supposed to be talking to, that it really oh man that feeling I don't like it. Another secret to becoming a confident and a classy woman or a classy man or a confident man. Anyway, I'm addressing I'm addressing my sisters here. So, is pursue holistic well being. Pursue. Never stop learning. Don't have a fixed mindset. Have an open mind. Uh, be be open minded. Um, God did not intend. God never intended us to be just you know uh, spiritual people like overly spiritual. No, you need to. Everything begins in the spiritual world. You must have a yes. Your relationship with God is a non-negotiable. You need to spend time in the presence of God. But don't also neglect other areas of your life. Don't neglect your intellectual life. You know, God, listen, God knows. He gave us 24 hours for a reason. He, all those 24 hours cannot all be praying and doing. No, you, you need to be also learning skills. You need to be working on your body because at the end of the day, God, God doesn't want to. It's better for God to use a human, a human being who is healthy. Take care of yourself mentally. Your mental health matters. Your physical health matters. Your intellectual life matters. I'm telling you, your spiritual life matters. So pursue excellence in all those areas. I know some people are going to judge you because maybe you take care of yourself. I don't know. God wants us to, 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 to be good and to look good. God wants us to prosper. In all areas of our lives. So pursue excellence in all areas. Honey, be at the feet of Jesus. And also be in the books. You know, be in the books. Learn things. You can be, honey, you can be holy in heart. It's allowed. And whoever says otherwise, God bless them. That's, they're entitled to their own opinion. Okay? You can be a, you can be a lawyer. God's daughters, God. Are you kidding me? Like Deborah was a lawyer. She was actually a judge. My bad. She was a judge. And she was a woman of God. She's a woman of class and elegance. The Proverb 31 woman, she was a woman of class. She was a woman of elegance. Please. This is what the Bible says, uh, says about the Proverb 31 woman. She makes covering for her bed. She is clothed in fine linen and purple. <laughs> and you want to tell me that we are, we are, to, we are supposed to, to dress anyhow? Hey. No, no, no. We listen, we have to represent God. We have to be confident and classy. Period. 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 Don't dress provocative. No, that's not godly. However, carry yourself like a queen because we are queens. It's about time. I'm telling you, ladies. I remember when I was I was, you know, doing worldly music before I gave my life to Christ. They had started to tell me the stuff that I needed to wear. But deep down in my spirit, it didn't sit well with me. You know, it really didn't sit well with me. However, I was like, okay, you know what? Maybe this is what it is. Like the world, you know, I need to be dressing like this for me to actually do well. I walked away from all of that. I walked away from all of that because I knew something in my spirit was telling me that it was devaluing me. It was downgrading me. Why do I need to be naked to make records? to sell records. No, 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 no. I don't regret doing that. And I know that what I walked away from, God is about to replace it seven times, sevenfold, honey. So let's move on. The next one is that you need to accept yourself and trust your intuition. Accept yourself. Like there's a problem these days where women, because of our past, or because of maybe how the family you come from, what you maybe went through, or maybe there's something, there's, there's, an, uh, there's a, um, an imperfection you have. Let me tell you, we all have imperfections. All of us, by the way, nobody is perfect. All of us have insecurities. There is something that, listen, all of us, you need to accept yourself. True confidence also comes from self-acceptance. Trust your intuition. Trust your intuition also, the more you trust your intuition, because a lot of times as women, God speak to us through our intuition. So I, I'll tell you something. Like there was a, a th there was a person that 
came into my life one time. And let me tell you, God gave me warnings. Hmm? He warned me in my dreams. He warned me through my intuition. And I still felt like I was smarter than God. I didn't listen. Do you know that that person almost cost me my salvation? I'm just, listen, guys, I'm being straightforward. I'm being real. I'm being real with you guys. Because of not trusting my intuition. So self-acceptance helps you to become a confident woman. Because listen, when you accept yourself, nobody can reject you. No one can reject you. No one can reject you. You just know, listen, I'm not for, for you. I'm not for them. You can't be everybody's cup of tea. You cannot be loved by everybody. What matters is, are you? Do you accept yourself? And what matters is, God has already accepted you and approved you. He didn't send Jesus Christ to die for you because he didn't accept you. It's because he loved you and he values you. God loves us enough and values us enough to send his son to die for us. And we still don't accept ourselves. We still don't trust our intuition. Not accept, not trusting my intuition, not trusting God. Let me actually say it this way. Not trusting God and listening to him and obey him, obeying him, almost cost me my salvation. Allowing that person in my life almost cost me my salvation. When God had to give me so many warnings, if it wasn't for the grace of God, I probably, got, I don't know. I would have been, I don't know. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Now, let's go to the next one. So I wrote these things because I just, this is what God is doing in my life. And I want to share with you guys. So you also can become confident women, godly, classy women. Anyway, the next one is learn to love and take care of yourself very well. If you don't love yourself and take care of yourself, no one else is going to do it for you. People treat you the way you treat yourself. People watch how you treat yourself. That's how they also address you. Learn to improve. You know, love yourself, self-care. Improve your, your, you know, intellect. Improve your looks. Look good. Feel good. I'm telling you, I like to look good, though. Eh, I actually learned that from my, my, my grandmother and my mom. It really, it changed. I'm telling you, you could be having a bad day, but just because you put on that nice dress, you put on that nice lipstick, man, it changes your mood. It literally uplifts your spirit. So learn to love yourself. Before you go try to find somebody else to love you, first love yourself. Human love is going to be conditional. So you have to understand, you, when you love, you understand God's love for you. And you understand that you have that self-love as well. And you understand what self-care means. No one can use that. No one can try to use condition or they can control and manipulate you. Because God already approved you. So self-love is very key. And once you, when you have a healthy love relationship with yourself and God, it's easier to spot unhealthy love. It's, you will never fall into unhealthy toxic love situations because God's love mm -mm. like where the spirit of God is that is liberty so it's like water and oil they don't mix they don't mix you can quickly spot toxic things and be like mm -mm. so understanding this is going to help you build your confidence so um yeah, it's important to love yourself because it really, you can be your own best friend or your worst enemy. So you have to really have a strong self-love for yourself and a good self, like, take care of yourself. How are you going to know if somebody loves you right if you don't even know how to love yourself? Because you can only, we teach other people how to love us. So how are they going to know how to love you if you don't even know how to love yourself? Another tip is make peace with your past. You have to make peace with your past because all of us got a past, honey. All of us got a past. We've all made mistakes. I, oh my gosh, before I came to Christ, I was a mess. I was a mess. I was a mess, oh Lord. If it wasn't for Jesus. Yes. So make peace with your past. Whatever you did, so what? Nothing is unredeemable. Jesus died for all, all of it. When you come to Christ, you become a new creation in him. So 
my dear, as long as you know who you are in Christ, there is no more condemnation. There is no more condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. So leave the past behind and focus on who God wants you to be. Be like, God, tell me, who do you... Who do you want me to be today? How can I be the woman that you call me to be? Teach me, God, to, to, um, to, be, to, al- to be aligned with your perfect will for my life. And let me tell you, that's how you build godly confidence in class. Another way to build your confidence is to be there for others, giving back. Let me tell you, giving back to others, it actually benefits us as, as well. Seeing someone else smiling, being there for someone else, it really also blesses you. So when you bless someone, you are blessing yourself as well. Another way to build your confidence is that you really have to overcome the fear of people's opinion. The fear of being criticized. You have to overcome the people-pleasing whatever habit. So because let me tell you, no matter what you do, you always gonna, you are, you could be this. Listen, Jesus, people are questioned. If Jesus was criticized, what makes you think that you won't? You're going to be criticized. You're going to be judged. People are going to talk. People are going to have an opinion of who you're supposed to be, what you're supposed to be doing. As long as you know what you're supposed to be doing, as long as you know that you are aligned with God's will for your life, don't worry about people's opinion. Worrying about people's opinion. Worrying about people's um, criticism about you and pleasing people will definitely keep you in that state where you will never become a confident person if you are so worried about what people say or think about you. Another thing that is so important to you, I mean, spiritually, oh my God, your mental health, your, like in all areas of your life, if you're going to build confidence, if you're going to be a confident person, a confident man or a confident woman, if you're going to be a classy person, don't compare yourself with others. This leads a lot of people into depression. This leads a lot of people into failure because when you start focusing on other people's business, guess what? Instead of focusing on your business here, Now you're focusing on that startup, but the other person's business and your business here is what? It's being neglected. And what's going to happen to your business? What happens when you neglect something? When you stop working on something and you're worried, you're literally worrying someone else's greed instead of worrying yours. So (laughs) comparison is a thief of joy. Don't compare yourself with others. And you feel like, if you feel like people are trying to compare you with others and they're bringing that energy to you, they literally st- straight up tell them straight up to say, hey, I don't like this. I don't appreciate this. Let's not get there. Another way to become a confident person, a confident woman, is that don't make excuses. Make things happen. Don't wait for something or someone to come and do things for you. No, go get it yourself. Make things happen yourself. Don't be lazy. Don't sit and think like somebody's going to come and save you. No. The only savior you're going to have is Jesus Christ. That's the only savior and yourself. So, yeah. Make things happen. Don't make excuses. Excuses will get will never get us anywhere. And the more you challenge yourself, you accept those challenges and push yourself, that builds your confidence. So make sure that you don't make excuses and you make things happen. Whatever ideas you got, whatever things you're gonna you wanna do, go for it. Don't wait. Just go for it. Another thing that confident people don't do. If you're going to be a confident person, you don't complain. Complaining is cheap. We don't complain. Life is full of ups and downs. What you cannot change, you cannot change. You you don't have control of it. So live it. Let God take care of it. But if something bothers you and you're able to change it, change it instead of complaining about it. Because complaining is a waste of time. And it's just draining. Why would you waste all that energy in complaining, joining yourself, instead of actually saying like, hey, this is what's going on. Now, how can I change it? Is this something that I can change? Is this something I can change? So another thing that I've noticed is the moment I start complaining, 
actually my life got better. The next one is accept challenges. I'm telling you, a lot of people like that comfort zone. They want to be comfortable. They want to chill. They don't want to be bothered. They don't want to, they want to, they want the good life, but they don't want to work for the good life. Hey, <laughs> you're going to be build confidence. You're going to become a confident woman or confident man. Anyway, this is for the ladies. You have to accept challenges. Challenges are there to grow you. Challenges are there to introduce you to another side of you that you didn't know. See, for me, I, the woman I am today, my confidence comes from God and comes from the things that I have, the challenges that I literally, that get thrown in, a, that gets thrown in my, my way, and I face them. I'm like, listen, I'm going to take responsibility. I'm going to hold myself accountable. This is this challenge right here. I'm not going to let it overcome me. I'm going to overcome this. And as women, we have to understand that. And as women of God, we have to understand, like, whenever that something is, is coming, challenges are there. It's all at the end of the day to work for our good. Because God will never give us a test that we can't handle. Anyway, the next one is make... This is now very, very important and very, I don't know why I didn't actually make it number one for women. Ladies, make your own money. Another thing that's going to build your confidence as a woman or anybody is to become self-reliant. Don't depend on others when it comes to like monetary, like, like financial stuff. You don't want to depend on anybody. That right there, I have seen so many women who found themselves in so many been dangerous, been taken advantage of, have been destroyed because of this. Because they, they literally don't want to work and they want to leave off someone else. So whatever you, somebody else is doing that for you, you are their mercy. You are there. Very few people are going to be kind when they are doing that. Uh, uh, Make your own money. Make your own money as a woman, you know, because that's how you also get to know who, what you are able to do, your contribution, what you add. You add value to society. You add value to, your, to yourself, to, fam, to, 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 um, to your family. People respect people who have something to bring to the table. So have something to bring to the table. When it comes to finances, please, please, please make your own money and use it wisely. Don't waste your money on unnecessary things, trying to impress people. You are here carrying like expensive bags or whatever, but your account is screaming. Hmm? The next thing is how to build confidence is working smart. Work smart and take risk. I can tell you, Work. I've been working literally since I was 16 years old. I'm a, that's just me. I'm a hard working woman. Yeah. I actually started working when I was 16. I had to lie about my age. I, I lied that I was you know, 19 so that they, can, they could give me a job. And I was using that money to buy groceries at home and to also pay for my school stuff. That's another story. That's a story for another day. Who we'll got through that? However, that told me, the the value of working once be, working and having skills is so important it builds confidence as well taking risk you got to take good calculated risk in this life if you don't take risk good calculated risk you're not going to grow you're going to stay stagnant so all confident people they are very diligent they are very discerning wise you, you work smart. Don't work hard over working hard, working, working hard. No, you gotta work smarter. Have a plan. What are you, when you're at work, what are you doing with the money? Or is the place you're working at, do you have a plan to grow? You just wanna work just to work. What is the plan? What is the intention behind what you're doing? Now, the last one is this. Stay away from negative influence. Negative influence, I can tell you, I know a lot of people who are confident, but they got with the wrong crew and all their confidence was gone because the wrong crowd. You know, the Bible says that 
bad, bad company corrupts good morals. And I know for a fact to even myself, I have been there myself where I had friends who literally I had to shrink myself to be around them. And that's now what, if you have to shrink yourself to be around sort of uh, some people, that's not, listen, that's not, mm -mm. you're not supposed to be there. They're not supposed, you're not supposed to be friends with people like that. If they cannot take you for who you are and you take them for who they are, anytime you have to diminish or decrease yourself, you are in the wrong place. Confident people also hang out around other confident people because it's contagious. Energies are contagious. If you're hanging around fearful people, you're going to become a fearful person. And I remember that, like literally in 20, last year, there was a time I literally had fear. This thing of fear came in my life and I just, and I was like, why am I fearful all of a sudden? Then when I started reflecting and evaluating everything, I realized like there are people that I had allowed in my life that I was listening to and I was having conversation. Those people were giving me advices from a fearful place. And I had. That's why it's important to also under, be careful. If you're going to be, every confident person I know, every person with class, they're very, 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 very careful with who has their ear. They are very careful with what goes into their ears and their eyes. So you want to guard that. Listen, ladies, try this, follow this. I'm telling you, it's going to work for you. And you have to be okay with not being everybody's cup of tea. You becoming a confident person, it is going to upset some people. People, Some people will be mad because they can't take advantage of you anymore because some people really liked you when you were broken. So the moment you start healing, now they feel all of a sudden like, okay, so hmm, now we can't use you like we used to do. We used to use you. Now we can't talk to you anyhow. Now we can't. Um, and especially that's how you're going to know people who never like, they really didn't have the best interest at heart is when you, be, you start healing and you becoming the best version of yourself, see how they react. You're going to lose some people, but I want to encourage you. Don't be afraid. If you're going to be the woman that God called you to be, you have to be okay with not being everybody's cup of tea. That's all. Subscribe. Like, share, leave me a comment. I'll see you guys next time.